Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another episode on the Amplified World. How are you guys doing today? You know, I'm doing really good. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. I'm having a really great day. I just woke up, and it's super early, and I had a stretch. I hadn't stretched yet. I just sat down and started recording. I have had this game running all night long because off screen over the weekend, by the way, it's Monday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. I don't, you know, my weekend wasn't that bad. It wasn't too bad. I know I worked the entire time, but it's still a weekend, right? I had some free time here and there because over the weekend I had finished. I had uh, finished all of our iron farms. I've got all the villagers inside of them and I did lose a couple of them. I'm not going to lie to you guys, but I did lose a couple of them. But I also decided to do a little bit of an increase in the amount of villagers that I have in these guys. And the only reason why I did it was just because I didn't know for sure how many I needed. I know the original design needed 10, but I have more doors. So I was like, I have extra villagers. I'm going to put 12. So what I did was I put four in each one. That means there's 12 in this one, 12 in that one, 12 in that one, and 12 in that one. And we can go check on our villager supply in just a second. Also, I have to show you guys something that I did over there to make sure it didn't interfere with this guy. But I have AFK'd overnight. I want to show you guys how much iron we got. I have not checked this yet. Uh, why do I have glass and coal? Well, hold on. <laughs> I don't want anything to be in my inventory that doesn't need to be in my inventory. Because I have a feeling this is going to be quite a lot. There, I have AFK'd. Let's see. I started it at about... Let's go and throw that in there. And nope, don't want to do that. I hate these item frames, by the way. <laughs> I have to keep them the right way or it bugs me. I know I've seen other people do let's... Oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do. Can I, like, go up there, please? There we go. But I've seen other people's let's plays where they have these item frames and then, like, the items are turned. Does that bother anybody else? For me, it's like killer. I can't look at it. Oh, look at that, it's working. Oh, he's, he's dying. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> uh, the glory of the iron farm. I'm really glad I put that in there, by the way. And thank you guys for all of the support on last episode. You guys love the design. You guys also, I knew it. I knew I was gonna call out somebody who was gonna comment it, who was gonna comment before I changed it over. I see, I saw you, I saw you, I saw you. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check this bad boy out. Let's see. Okay, so this is about 12 hours worth of AFKing. So bam. Ooh. Okay, here we go. There's almost three stacks. Holy crap, we're gonna have so much iron. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, get in my belly. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, what am I going to use all this iron for, you might be asking. I have no idea. Why Why would I need to know about that? This is just amazing. <laughs> oh, it's working beautifully. It's working beautifully. And if my eyes deceive me, is this working better than the other one? I don't know. That's crazy. This is insane. Holy crap. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Almost 20 stacks. 19 and a half stacks of iron. That's insane. I love it. I'm really glad that I built these iron farms. That's crazy. Now, if I said that this was all the iron that I had, I would be lying to you. Considering I let's put this into perspective. I finished this Friday night because that night I just decided to go ahead and hammer it out get it done And it was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be because of the fact that this platform is only two blocks lower than these These modules here So all I had to do is go up by two blocks and just make them straight which was really easy and really easy to push the mine carts so I've done just a tiny bit more AFK than that <laughs> Oh, I have so much iron. <laughs> one, one, one stack of blocks. Two stacks of blocks. <laughs> oh, good lord! I'm so glad that we built this thing. The next thing that we're gonna, the next big farm we're doing is the gold farm, by the way, because I want this much gold. I like gold. Gold is one of the blocks that I just like looking at, and personally. I like to, well, I used to like to have a lot on hand just so I could make god apples. Of course, you can't make those anymore. Uh, I've complained about that enough, but let's go. How many blocks? Oh, no, I don't want to make shoes. Stop it. How many blocks? One. One block. Two blocks. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And a little bit stacks. 
That's stupid. <laughs> I'm so glad we made this. We're never going mining again. Seven, almost, well, seven stacks of blocks and eight extra along with 40, 48, 48 ore. That's stupid amounts. That's stupid amounts. That's enough. If I had, if I could sell that, I could buy a giraffe. That's giraffe money right there. Anyways, today, what I want to do today, I haven't even figured that out yet. I, I just, I woke up. I just woke up. I need to go. I'm probably going to go grab me something to drink or brush my teeth or do something like that. Uh, I just wanted to check on the iron farm, see how they did. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second and figure out what we're going to be doing today. Sometimes I just forget how big this thing is. It's so huge. Stop with the that's what she said jokes. That's not what I'm going for. But anyways, I'm over here. I came over here just to check on the villagers, but then I was like, I got a good vantage point of what this thing looks like. It's gigantic. Also, side note, we have unlimited red dye now, which is super cool. I actually plan on using this pretty soon. I'm not going to give out any spoilers on it because... It's gonna be kind of a re it's gonna be a really big project that we're gonna be doing here. Not well, probably next month. Yeah, n next month. So yeah, I'm over here to check on these guys. I have disabled my breeder because I was really afraid that the doors down here were going to mess with my iron farm. I wasn't for sure if it was going to do it or not, but I just I disabled it just in case. Uh, because I heard that if you have doors within a certain amount of block radius, it'll break the it'll break iron farm. So I I disabled it just for that. Um, I know a lot of people want me to make a a villager like after the villager breeder make like a villager trading hall. I know Mumbo's doing that right now, and I think that's the reason why people want me to do it. Um, it's on my to do list. It's just not something I want to get into right now, just because I have so many other projects I want to do. So I still have a couple guys left in here, and I got and I left these two in here because these two are going to be used for breeding. As you can see, these guys right now because we're so close to the iron farm are so are locked into the doors over there now. Well, even before that they were they were going nuts over that that's the reason why i was making it so easy to get them out was all i had to do is break two blocks and then put like a mine cart and then kind of go in there and push them in there press a button and just send them on their way it was super easy so uh i plan on moving this uh this is probably somewhere over there and well we're moving it back to where it was at that's kind of funny and uh, we might spot up some more villagers so that way we can have them for you know a trading thing it's on my to-do list so today i want to go ahead and fix this i told you guys that we're not going to be working on the base we're going to be going on an adventure today but the thing i want to fix is all of this all of these torches i hate the look of the torches they're everywhere so i want to fix that today but in order to do that i need to get sea lantern so we're going on an adventure we're going to go find ourselves an ocean monument today um, i'm going to find that we're going to have fun in the ocean monument like we have already but i wanted to do it again because i need I need I need sea lanterns, and I really I'm starting to get cabin fever, and I know a lot of some of you are getting cabin fever as well. So I want to get out of the base for today. So today we're gonna go find an ocean monument. I'm gonna go put these poppies away, and we're gonna go see if we can find one. I'm hoping I don't think it should be that difficult. I can fly. It, it, it should be easy. For the love of God, look at this. This is what I love about amplified terrain. Just look at all this terrain generation. It's crazy. And look, there's a village. Um. This is crazy. What's the what's the coordinates for this? I don't think I'm ever gonna use this. But if any of you guys want to download this world and build some stuff in this thing, I I don't know. I'm not judging. But check that out. This place is so cool. Uh, amplified terrain. I am really glad that I started this series. I've never done amplified before, but just this, just the look of it. It looks great. It looks so cool. If you guys don't, if you guys are ever wondering if you guys should start an amplified world, I have. My, you've got my recommendation. Thumbs up. Do it. Do it now. Do it now. And, and sort it now. It's so much fun. Especially after you get an elytra. It makes it so much easier. Because <laughs> uh, traveling this without this bad boy is almost impossible. And now... Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going now. World. Render faster. There it is. Target sighted. I have found another ocean monument. It took me a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, I just kept following oceans until I found that sucker. So I have a plan. Okay, instead of going in there normal means, I am gonna go balls to the wall. Let's do this. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, defy gravity. Because <laughs> that's exactly how flying works. You can just fly through the water. Ah, so good. And I don't have to worry about them shooting my face. I haven't got the mining fatigue yet. I, I'm ready. I, my butt's already been puckered. I'm waiting for the jump scare. When's it gonna happen? It's gonna happen sooner or later, but I'm gonna take these sea lanterns while I can. It's 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 gonna happen. What's gonna happen? 
Oh god. Oh uh, well. See, it's it's get blurring me into a false sense of security. I'm afraid now because I don't know what it's gonna happen. And you guys, oh, there it is. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> I kind of knew it was gonna come because when I was mining that, my my pickaxe slowed down, so it kind of gave me an idea. All right. Well, I'm gonna go through this ocean monument, find me some. I'm gonna go kill off some guardians, find some more sponges because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be needing those sooner or later, and uh, just getting some sea lanterns. I don't think I'm gonna bring you guys along for the entire ride. Um. Is there no way to get up? Oh, there it is. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna bring you guys for the entire ride, but if anything funny happens, I'll let you guys know. Oh, my chest plate, uh-oh. I didn't know my chest plate was so badly damaged. That might be a problem. That might actually be a problem. Oh, oh I can't pick this back up. <laughs> oh, stupid mining fatigue. Is it really I can't pick this back up? Well, that's stupid. I will drown before I get it. Oh, that's so stupid. Hey, what's up, buddy? You were right here the entire time. Let me go ahead and, uh, actually, let's breathe a little bit. And then take you down. Give me your sponge. And don't kill my armor, please. My chest plate soulmate has seen better days. If I would have known he was that deadly damaged, I would have, uh, repaired him. There we go. One down, two to go. Or is it three to go? No, there's only no, there's three in it. The thing, yeah, one down, two to go. There's the second one. I knew you were here. I could hear you. Okay, I'm gonna need you to not kill me or break my chest plate, please. Okay, die, just die, just die, just eat my sword. Oh god, well this is bad. Well this is happening right now. <laughs> oh good lord, I forgot how powerful these things were. Can I? Can I please? I need to eat. Please let me eat. Let me eat. Let me eat. I need a regen. Okay. Do we go back in there? Yes. Take it. Take my sword. Smite me. Oh no, don't really smite me. This is bad. Oh, this is really bad. <laughs> Heal, please. I should have brought some better food. Okay, there we go. Two down, one to go. And my chest plate is at 27. Ooh, uh-oh. <laughs> I hope, hope soulmate doesn't die. That would be terrible. Well, I guess uh, I could replace him, but that's not the point. I don't want him to die. Oh! <laughs> uh, could you not do that, please? <laughs> uh, I don't like it. I don't like jump stairs. That's, that's terrible. <laughs> Ooh, I can hear you. Where are you? To my left. Ah, I found you. There you are. Now, eat my sword. Don't, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh God. <laughs> oh, these things are a lot more powerful than than they look. Just, just be the sponge and soak up the hits. Oh God, please don't kill me. <laughs> Got him. There we go. And at 15 left. <laughs> Nothing short of a miracle there. I could have swore my chest plate was gonna die. That should be the last one. Let me go ahead and breathe. I got a minute and four, well, I got a, I got a little bit over a minute and a half left of uh, mining fatigue. That should be the last one. And then I can go ahead and claim my prize. I'm gonna find the, uh, the sponge room. I'm gonna take this off before I break it. And, oh yeah, I gotta go grab my freaking ender chest too. Uh, I got so much work to do. But hey, we got unlimited, well, not really unlimited. We got a bunch of sea lanterns now, probably about two and a half stacks, give or take. Hello? You gonna give me an iron golem? You gonna give me one? Is it weird that I really wanna see one of them die? <laughs> is that bad? I just like this. This is a really cool killing chamber. I love it to death. But I just got back from my little sea lantern mission and we have three and a half stacks worth of sea lanterns now along with some more prismarine stuff. I also had a bunch of sponges that I put down the sword system already. And now it's time for us to start working on the lighting situation. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get into here and do it in here, but I wanna try to get a, you know rid of some of these torches. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get rid of all of them, but I wanna get rid of some of them. I definitely 
definitely want to start working on the pattern for this, the actual walkways themselves. And one of the other things that I want to try to tackle today and just kind of see what it's going to look like, I want to start working on these pathways, like the dimensions of the pathways. The same things with the circles as well. They're flat. And I don't like flat. You guys know me, flat is boring. So we're gonna start working on, oh, whoop, okay. <laughs> Just stop, that's fine. That's exactly what I wanted to do. So we're gonna start working on that, try to give it a little bit of dimension. I have an idea in my mind what, for what I want, but we'll just have to see if it actually looks good in the long run. Isn't this just more, I don't know, sophisticated? Without all the torches, you know, besides those over there. But I love this. Sea lanterns make everything better. In every build, if you need something for lighting, don't use glowstone, use sea lanterns. But I've started working on the tunnel system and I'm starting to get kind of like a rough idea on what I'm gonna do. And I've got a couple different patterns here laid out and I can't decide which one I like more. So I've got the roof kind of decided where I have a long strip of polished diorite all down the middle. Now I might, it, I might, I haven't decided yet, I might mirror this onto here and just have the ceiling kind of like this. But at the same time, I don't think it's going to really translate as well because I do plan on having slabs on the top of this. So that way nothing can spawn. Oh, there he goes. Bye guy. Thank you for your iron. Thanks for the donation. But um, <laughs> thanks for the donation to my iron. Uh, we're, I, I was gonna make a, oh, Rockefeller wasn't at the iron guy. He wasn't the railroad track guy, was he? I don't remember. Uh, maybe that was coal or gasoline. I don't remember. I am not a guy with a historian. Back to what we were talking about. So, um, um, I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to keep this polished diorite or kind of put a pattern into it. I might actually add some more regular diorite to it too as well. Again, still work in progress. Now that is pretty much kind of decided, but I'm kind of I'm really, I don't know what to do with the walls. I don't know whether to keep it like this where you have like a little window and you could see out of it. The only thing I don't like about it is you can't see down or up. That kind of sucks. Now this one, this is all glass. So I'm able to see down and I'm able to see up. But the thing is, I am thinking about, you know, a little bit further into the future. And I planned on trimming the bottom of this out right here with uh, quartz. Now, if I do that, I'm not going to be able to see down anyway. So we might be able to see just a little bit more. I don't know if I can get it from here. Can I actually put that in there? Am I going to get lucky? Nope. Well, I guess I could just do this. Let's see if I can place that in there. Can I place that in there? Why is this on? Can I place that in there? Nope. Nope. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. But, um, oh, can I place it on this side? <gasps> Can. Oh, I'm a genius. So whenever we look down, we can see more than we can see over here, but still, it's still gonna be blocking out some of the water, which I don't know if that's gonna be a bad thing or not. I might have to test around with that to see what it's gonna end up looking like in the future. Uh, that's not bad, hold on, let me try, let me just do something. Let me just do something, let me just do this. Hold on, let me just, let's just try something. Let's just try something. Let's do this, boom, and stick that one. Bye guy, thanks for the donation. Okay, like so. Okay, we're gonna lose a little bit of quartz. I'm gonna dive into the water layer to get them. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna go back and get them. This stuff is kind of expensive. So this is what it's gonna end up looking like. Ah, uh, I hate that you can't see down. Dang it. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section whether you want A or B. I'm leaning towards A. That's just me. I don't wanna, I don't wanna influence your decision. What I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna carry this all the way down on both sides and then I'm gonna let you guys vote in the comment section. We're gonna finish up this one. And uh, we'll do all the next. We'll, we'll do the rest of them next episode, depending upon how you guys vote. So yeah, let me get to work. I don't. I don't. I don't understand. I swear, I blinked and two hours went by. I. I don't understand. I. Look what I did. I did that. I made a thing. <laughs> I just. I just kept. I just kept working at it, and this is what I made. <laughs> well, there went our little simple roof design. <laughs> I don't, um, I hope you guys like it. I think it came out really well. I think it looks really, really cool. So, from that last bit, of course, we had uh, the diorite, and we had a bunch of other things that went along with it. And I started taking away some blocks and started adding some more. And I was like, okay, well, we got to put some lighting in the roof. So I put some lighting in the roof. And I was like, well, there could be a cool design with that. So I started putting designs with it. And then things started happening. And this is what happened. <laughs> I think it looks cool. <laughs> I really do. If we come out here, 
and take a quick little gander at it. It looks really cool from the outside too. I gave it a little bit of a accent piece on the top. This here doesn't need to technically be there, but I put it there so that a way it has a little bit more structure to it and it looks a little bit better. And in my opinion, this thing is a lot more convoluted and detail oriented than I was going to put into it. And, and between you and me, there is absolutely no way I'm going to be able to replicate this three more times without messing it up in some way, shape, or form. Now, I have made the roof so extravagant, it's made the walls look stupid in comparison. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but that's just how it happened. So now I've got to reconstruct the walls to kind of mirror the roof. That way everything looks cool i guess you could say that i was gonna say well it could be futuristic it could be artistic it could just be flat out cool so yeah well that's a thing why is that one like that one can i take those away i missed those i did see there is a little bit there's some here and there bits that i still need to iron out but yeah let me know in the comment section which uh th which design you like better if you like this one over here or this one here either way i could probably make it work um, and I'm going to try to mess around with this off screen as well. I need to get this video done because uh, I got to get it out and ready. Well, I got to get it edited and rendered for you guys because it is Monday when I'm recording this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, guys, because I had a lot of fun today. Guys, don't forget if you hate this video, you guys know where to put it. But if you didn't enjoy, do not forget to hit the like button, guys. Like I was at the say, guys, be sure to make support on all of our series so far. And I want to say thank you guys for your main support. Guys, I do mean that. I really do appreciate all of the support you guys have been showing to me and the the community as a whole. I want to say welcome to all the new people who have been stopping by. And if you are, and if, if you, well, if you are brand new and you haven't already, I'd always like to recommend subscribing. It's free. You just click. You just click a button. It's done. It just makes me super, super happy to see. Uh, and don't forget, if you are also new and you have subscribed, if you haven't commented yet, you should do that because it's the only way I can interact with you, unfortunately. But yeah, that's a thing. So yeah, don't forget to post any questions, comments, smart marks, comments, section it down there. I love hearing from you guys. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. And I'll have a great and wonderful rest of your day. I will see you guys in the next video.